Hello everybody in this new tutorial of um, .NET 3.1 Web API. So it's time we show together how to make login with GWT token. So today we'll see together how to make refresh token um, after the generated token uh, is expired. So let's create a new model called refresh token model and it's contain it, it contains uh, two property the first one is the email of the logged user and the second one is the refresh token and let's add a new property in the user model called refresh token so let's navigate to the db context uh, class and let's add a new table called refresh token model and let's change the name here to refresh token tokens that's good now let's move to the repositories um, project and we need to add a new interface in order to interact with the database so let's add a new interface called irefresh token repository and we need to add the refresh token repository class so let's make this interface public and implement the iGeneric repository type of refresh token model good now on the other side, let's make the refresh tokens repository class public and implement, um, extend the generic repository uh, class and implement the R refresh token repository um, and obviously the type um, of entity is refresh token model. Now let's simply generate the constructor good we have done here so in the same way let's go to the managers project and we need to create an interface and a manager class for um, the refresh token inside we define the business rule how to add update and get the tokens <coughs> So let's create a new interface and a new class called Refresh Tokens Manager. Um, extends the base manager and implements the I Refresh Tokens Manager interface. Good. Let's generate the constructor. And inside the iRefresh Tokens Manager interface, we need to define the operation or the actions that will do it. So essentially, we have three uh, methods here. So the get token by refresh token, and the update token, and add new token. Great, let's implement this three methods and um, we need to inject in the constructor the irefresh token repository so let's begin by making the get token method so here we return the um, refresh token repository dot get um, the token model if exists uh, by the refresh token the given refresh token and if it exists it will be unique so let's make single or default so we return one refresh token or null and the add token method we need to define a set of time no it's equal to data time dot now and let's create a new refresh model token so here we need to define the email, the refresh token, 
uh, it will be GID um, string and define the creation and modification date and make a commit. So finally, let's make the update token. So we need to get the, the token if it exists and if it's different from null, we need to make an update and we need to change the refresh token here. And finally, we update the notification date and make refresh repository dot, dot update. And finally, you make a commit. Else, we return null. The refresh token doesn't exist. And in the user controller here, in the user's controller, we need to inject the iRefresh token manager dependency. Let's make it better here. And in the login action, so we need to make some changes here. Essentially, we need to get the refresh model, uh, token model. So the first, when the user make a login, we need to search if um, we have already a refresh token items in the database. So if this refresh token model is different from null, we need only to update this model. So simply we need to make an update and we give uh, the search um, refresh token a parameter else the user will it's the first time login and we need to create a new token finally in the user model we need to update the refresh token and expire and the expire time and it will be after four minutes here now we need to add a new action called refresh token and inside in order to um, to make refresh token so the user uh, doesn't need to make uh, to put login and password every time so this mechanism will um, will help the user to make authentication automatically so in the refresh um, token action we need to to get the exist the existed um, token and if we make a search and we don't find the token so we return a bad request else we will define the GWT um, code so to make that we need to add a new uh, method in the user manager called get user by email and the objective here is to search um, the token the refresh token the database by email and if it doesn't exist we return nothing so we return a bad request and authorized in order to uh, protect our um, system from hackers okay so now let's uh, go and search the target user so if the refresh token is different from null we need to search the user and if the refresh model different from null and the user different it's equal excuse me when the refresh token is equal to null or the user model is equal to null we will have a bad request <coughs> else we define the code of gwt and finally we need only to refresh token manager to make update to call refresh token manager to make an update and we give the user model dot refresh token define the tokens expires and return the user model <coughs> excuse me and i think we have done here so let's make this uh, action anonymous and don't forget uh, in the startup 
uh, file to add the repository and the manager of refresh token. That's good. Now let's run the application and let's move to Postman. Let's make a simple uh, login operation. So here we have invalid code and exception. So I forget to um, update the database and add a new migration. So let's make it add migration, add refresh token. Here we have the generated migration file and let's update the database. Good, let's run the application and let's move to the postman and send a login operation. That's cool. So we can see the token and the token expires and the refresh token. So here we have two tokens, the GW token and the refresh token. So, for example, here we need to make a get users operation. So let's make the operation. Here we have a 401 unauthorized error. So let's move and make refresh token. So we need, to, we need to change the content type to application JSON and we need to change the operation to post. Yes. And finally, in the body, we need to give the refresh token string. Here we go. Let's go the token and here we have our token model. And here we have a no reference exception because the refresh token model is null. Okay, so I think I forget to return and the update token, um, the generated uh, refresh uh, token model. So that's good. And here we need to change the update token to refresh token model dot refresh token. That's nice. Let's run the application. And here we go. So let's make a login. That's nice. We have the new refresh token. So when we make a refresh token with the new um, refresh token string, Here we have our get users. It's worked correctly. So after four minutes, we'll wait for four minutes and we will have a notarized error. So we need to wait for some seconds here. Let's go. Uh, here we go. We have an authorized error. Let's change the refresh token. And here we have the new JWT token. And finally, we need to, to update this token. Yeah, here we go. That's good. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.